Hey everyone, Caffeine Man here with a super short bonus video on a semi-new product on the market, and that is Thermo Rockstar. And this feels like deja vu. Didn't I already do this? Hello again, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. And in today's video, we're going over Rockstar Thermo Neon Blast. Didn't I just do a bonus video on Rockstar Thermo? Well, yes, I did. But that one was on the Tropical Fire because that's the only one that they had in stores near me. Apparently, they were exclusive to certain stores. Speedway got the Tropical Fire, which is near me. AM, PM, and some other stores, I think, got the Neon Blast. And you would think after a while, it wouldn't be exclusive to them anymore. They'd release them to both places and everybody else. But that hasn't happened just yet. So thank you again to John from South Jordan, Utah. He was able to get me these drinks because he knew I didn't have them. He's also the one that got me the Rockstar juice. So I appreciate all the drinks that you sent me. Rockstar Thermo, if you didn't know, is a thermogenic drink, which I already went through this in my other script. So feel free to watch my other video on the Rockstar Tropical Fire, where I go over the thermogenics and some of the ingredients in this drink. But for now, I will give you a very short recap. It does have 300 milligrams of caffeine, which is a thermogenic of itself. It's got 1,000 milligrams of BCAA, which you know really isn't effective unless you have 3,000 or more, but hey, you get 1,000 anyway. Also uses green tea extract, which is a natural caffeine, so it lasts longer and also has thermogenic properties. Thermogenesis raises your body temperature just an itty bitty bit to help you burn some calories. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to see a live stream when I do these one-off videos or if you prefer these super short bonus videos. I'm still researching my analytics based on the last two or three live streams that I've done to see which one has the most interest, but it's always good to get your opinions, so definitely let me know in the comments down below because so far the live streams seem to be doing okay, but not as many views as these super short bonus videos, but it's still too early to tell. I do also want to take one second to let you know that next Tuesday's video is a very important video to me, and I'm just asking that if you find something of value in that video, to please share it with someone else who may also find value out of it. I don't normally ask people to share my videos, I just kindly remind them to subscribe. But for this one specific video, if you do like it and find value out of it, please feel free to share it with someone else. But for now, let's taste out this Neon Blast. Just gonna head to my Campus Protein fridge to grab the drinks, and you can save 10% off your entire order at Campus Protein when you use the link down below and coupon code CAFFEINEMAN10. And I definitely recommend you check them out every now and again because they do run specials all the time. Some of the specials are a month long, some of them only like a week long. It all depends on the supply that they have. They sometimes sell out of some of them pretty fast. But if you're too lazy to go there and check them out yourself on a regular basis, you can also follow me on Instagram at CAFFEINEMAN1. I do occasionally post some of the sales that they have, especially if it's an energy drink sale or just a big percentage off. But I don't bombard my page with that stuff. I do put other stuff on my Instagram as well. So definitely feel free to check that out if you're not following me already. There we go, Rockstar Thermo Neon Blast. Cans are pretty nice too. They did a good job with the graphics. It's always good to have an eye-catching can. Let's taste it out. Wow, it's got a clear color. Always surprised by the clear colors. Not really. Mm, all right, Neon Blast, good kind of a unique flavor to it. So it's definitely difficult to pick out the flavors in here, but uh, I'm gonna actually go back in the first flavor that I'm kind of getting out of this, well, you know, before I get into the flavors, let me actually talk about the uh, carbonation is a medium to high carbonation. And that sweetness is also a medium to high sweetness. Rockstar is usually known for giving you some really sweet drinks, but that's because they put sugar in them and they try to replace that sugar with the sucralose in these drinks. I'm guessing they don't want to go too crazy with it. So they are giving you a medium to high sweetness. Flavor profile, I'm going to say is a medium flavor profile because um, it's not super strong, but it's definitely not light. They're giving you a flavor or several flavors, but I need to go back in to figure out those flavors. If anything, the first flavor that's kind of popping into my head is kind of like a melon flavor, but not really watermelon, more like maybe like a honeydew, but not as sweet as a honeydew. Going back in. Hmm. All right. I am going to have to go back in a third time. It's not going to be a super short bonus video. I'm sorry. It's not my fault. It's Rockstar's fault for not telling you what the flavor is. Making it guess. Making my job hard, Rockstar. All right. I'm only doing a little bit though because it is 300 milligrams and I, and I did have a small energy drink before this. 
And the reason I had to go back in is because sometimes the flavors stack. As you start to drink it more, you do start to get more of those flavors out of it. It does happen with a decent amount of drinks. I'm not gonna say it's all the drinks. Some of the drinks that have a powerful flavor right up front continue to give that powerful flavor. But this had a medium flavor to it, and now it is, it's getting to like a little bit of a medium high flavor profile. And I am getting some other flavors out of there. I am getting like a light apple flavor out of it, and I am also getting a light blue raz flavor out of it and the blue razes you know there's a lot of different blue razes and each company makes it just a little bit different but there is a small 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 hint of blue raz a little bit of apple and let's say uh, a melon flavor like a honeydew and uh, yeah, so that's what I'm getting out of this for the Neon Blast. I want to know in the comments down below what you guys get out of it because I think you're probably going to get some different flavors. And actually, John said, hey, you know what? I think this kind of tastes like the Pure Zero Watermelon. And to prove that fact, he actually sent me the Pure Zero Watermelon. So boom, bonus taste test. I'm going to be trying the Pure Zero Watermelon, which I, I already had before, but my memory can be a little shady. So it's actually going to be good to do a side-by-side -side comparison. Now, I do remember the watermelon to be pretty good. As you all know, I was looking for a wow me watermelon for a while. Didn't overly wow me, but it wasn't bad either. Going in, seeing if it tastes like the neon. Let's taste it out again. You know, I can say that this is uh, definitely watermelon, but that melon flavor, the watermelon, like the sweet watermelon flavor, is a bit light in here. I'm always looking for a stronger watermelon flavor. But just that melon on its own for being a melon, kind of a generic melon flavor. Like if you were to have a cantaloupe, you know that it's a melon. If you have the honeydew, you know it's a melon. If you have the watermelon, you know that it's a melon. So the melons all do have kind of a flavor of their own to them with additional flavor to make it different from the others. I would say that melon flavor is actually in that neon. So when I guessed that it was a melon flavor to begin with, I was right, but this is a melon, watermelon. That is kind of a melon with a little bit of apple in it. Put this down. Going back to back, no crackers in between. Mm. Yeah, I'm confident in that now. We got some melon flavor, we got some blue raz, we got some apple in there. So if you guys are looking for an interesting flavor that has a melon flavor with a few of those other little flavors in it, try out the Neon Blast. And if, like I said, if you tried it already because it's been out for a while, let me know in the comments down below. You agree, you disagree, and yeah, whatever. And there you have it. That is my semi-short video because I know it's not going to be super short since it took so long to talk about it. On the Rockstar Thermo, Neon Blast. Where's it going to be going on the Caffeine Man rating chart? I am all over the place today. My goodness. I need to move over to make room for the chart because, you know, it's a big chart. There we go. I'm going to give this one an 8.3. I think it's a unique flavor. I give them props for doing something kind of unique, but the mix of the flavors that are in there, it's really hard to pick out. And when you're drinking your drink, you want to know what you're drinking. You don't want to have to be guessing. But then again, some companies can really pull that off. When you drink something like a rainbow unicorn, you don't know what it is, but you know you like the flavor of a rainbow unicorn. So if you're someone who likes the neon blast, then you like the neon blast. You guys should try it out for yourself. That's all I got for you today. I hope to see you guys on Tuesday. Hope you like the video, and if you do, please share it with others. So until next time, have yourselves a great day or night. Where am I? I'm over here. I didn't move back to the center. I'm just uh, not doing anything right today. Can't get the chart. Can't get the pictures. Did I even put up the right advertising? Yeah, Campus Protein. Okay. Did I shout out Campus Protein 10% off? I always usually do. One of those days.